Australia's Fitzroy River is home to a host of deadly predators, and we've drawn the attention of one of the most feared. So we want to get away from the, the river because there's salt. We saw saltwater crocs here just a few minutes ago, but there's a small pool here. So we're just going to get the rest of our measurements. This pup may only be a month or so old. Based on the smallest uh, rostrums that we have. So, so this is a newborn. This Obviously, is, this, is, this sawfish this was, very, born, yeah, was born this very year. Very recently. Um, probably April or March. So this section of the river is a nursery ground. Exactly, yeah. This is where they enter the river. Travis has caught a tiny pup. Incredibly, its rostrum hey, hey, is already well developed. How'd you catch it? On a hairline? On a hairline with uh, actual uh, live mullet. Man, that's crazy. Wow. Look at how small it is. It's amazing to think that something this small could get seven meters long. It's a newborn pup. But I still need to be careful. I don't want to get jabbed by the saw. So it still has its umbilical scar. When the fish are born, this rostrum, the saw has a protective a uh, protective membrane on it so the mother's not injured. Even on a baby fish, the teeth are very sharp, and just by instinct, it starts shaking its head. It's trying to get away. Total length of, total length of 76.3. 194. 194 rostrum length. This is one of the smallest sawfish Dave and his team have ever caught. This is just another indication that this area right here is probably the pupping ground for the freshwater sawfish. There he goes. Swim free, little buddy. We didn't realize the tides were coming in so fast. At this speed, it could drag the nets upstream, leaving the fish trapped and vulnerable to crocs. Uh, pull them all the way on board before you release them. Just grab his tail. Oh. Yeah, OK. Everything was so calm here until about an hour ago, and then the tide started coming up. Oh, Man, it's current. Something else. We need to weigh, measure, and tag these fish as fast as possible. The tide's coming in so fast now that we're just trying to process these fish as fast as we can and get our nets out of the water because sticks and everything is coming in. We're stuck here. It looks like Jeff stuck on a big branch over there. This water just really just came in so quickly. We're just not getting in there. It's like a flash flood. It reminds me of a flash flood back in Arizona. Well, it feels like we're off. Hey, we, did we get off? Yeah. Nice. Total length, 83.7. Rostral length, 20.5. You can see through the saw here. Skin's so thin still. You can see why these young fish are vulnerable. What else do we need? This fish has already been out of the water about a minute. We need to get it back in as fast as we can. There we go. Tag 1086. Got it. Ready to get this fish back in the water? OK. Still okay, I think. This tide's ripping so much, so I'm just gonna have to let her go. Newborn baby girl, look at her go. It's been an amazing day. We hit the pupping ground just at the right time and found an important area for these sawfish. Maybe that's why the crocs are here. Easy food. The presence of pups indicates this is a healthy ecological system. So now we're going to fish all night to see if any bigger juveniles or adult sawfish are out there.